South Africa is trying to get its antiretroviral program back on track. The country has the highest number of people living with HIV in the world. Testing and treatment have been severely hampered over the past 20 months, with resources being diverted to fighting COVID-19. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. South Africa has around 8.2 million people living with HIV. It made steady progress towards having 90% of HIV-positive people on therapy. This worsened through the COVID-19 pandemic. We implemented many additional efforts to reach patients, uh, all the way to actually contacting them and in certain instances even delivering uh, their medicines by parcels or by pharmacy lockers uh, so that they could collect them at their convenience. South Africa has approximately 12.8% of the population infected with HIV. Of those, we have diagnosed and are following around 4.6 to 4.8 million HIV patients. Stigma around HIV and the fear of COVID-19 infection has deterred patients from visiting clinics to keep up with appointments and therapy. They're scared. They fear for their lives and then when it comes to vaccine, they were also scared because they don't know of the counter effect of, of, of vaccine with, with, with their chronic medication. We need to encourage them to realize that HIV is still there and if you are not on medication, people they still get sick and some they even die. There's also been a concerning drop in tuberculosis testing, which is closely linked to HIV and is one of South Africa's leading causes of death. And we are very worried about that because, in fact, we need to uh, not lose the ground that we have gained in the region over the last uh, three to four years in reducing TB incidence. Now, social distancing and masking may help to also reduce the transmission of tuberculosis, but indeed it is obviously concerning that we're not getting the TB diagnoses made. Furthermore, the World Health Organization has warned of increasing resistance to old ARV therapy. South Africa and its neighbors are transitioning to new treatment, but that too was hampered by COVID-19. The country and the region is moving to a dolotegravir-based three-drug therapy, the newest um, three-drug treatment regimen, the most highly prescribed first-line treatment across the, across the globe, including in the US and Europe. Malawi and Zambia are leading the way, uh, but indeed South Africa did have an interruption in the switching during the COVID period. Uh, we are now catching up. South Africa has a battle on its hands. Untreated HIV-positive people are at a greater risk of severe COVID-19 infection if they are not vaccinated. The country is on the cusp of a fourth COVID-19 wave. Hospitals are filling up and it's likely to once again impact on critical health services. Julie Shara, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.